What's going on guys, Mix It here, back again for another review video. And today guys, I will be reviewing the Mount Gate Silver Roam. Yes, it's Mount Gate Silver Roam. This was brought back from Barbados from a friend, because it's very kind of him and I'm going to review it, so I do thank you. So I've been waiting a long time to review this, it's been a while since I received it, back in end of January. And it's actually from Barbados, so what I will be doing is reviewing it. So just look at the packaging, it's a nice packaging, like that. you get a nice bag with it. Actually from the Mount Gay Company themselves in Barbados. This is specifically from Bar from Barbados. Because like this is the oldest commercial rum company in the world. As you can see, it's estimated 1703. Or for a precise date, they had the deed, which dates back to February the 20th, 1703. And they're hoping to find, because like the employees there are hoping to find the, the deed for 1654. So I think it might go back before then production of Mount Gay Barbados rum. So it's over 300 years old, it's just absolutely incredible and they're still going to this day. Because with the Barbados Silver Rum, you can't find it in the markets in the UK. I've tried and I just can't. Because I, I can find out Massimo, but it's unavailable, so I don't know when they'll get in stock. But it's completely different to mine. Mine is the 1 litre, not the 700ml. Because I think the price of it is between 30 to 40 quid. I think it's on the more expensive side. Because there's uh, you can't find it in the American markets either like that. So it's very hard to find. Because the more popular brand that you find is the one in like Morrison's your Tesco supermarkets, which is the Mount Gay Eclipse. So with the Mount Gay Eclipse, it's much easier to find in markets, as you can get that for 20 quid. I think it's on sale at the minute in Morrison's for 18 quid. But the silver rum, good luck finding it. I can't and I've actually had to get this back from Barbados thanks to my friend as they very kindly got me it. It's because hey, you can't find it in the American markets either. It's very, very hard to find. Because so with the Mount Gay Silver Rum, it's an entry level rum, because it's a nice introduction. With Eclipse, it's two years, the golden rum, two years aged in a bourbon barrel. But the Exo can be aged for between 8 to 15 years. And for the Extravagant 1703, that can be aged to 30 years in a barrel. That's absolutely wonderful. I'd absolutely love to find it. Because I think with 1703, it can be ranged, uh, I think it's 150 quid, I think, something like that, 1703. But if I uh, find that, I'll love to have that in my collection. But it's just a shame to open this, because I, I don't want to open this rum either, but I want to, just to taste it. So I'll give you a close-up of the rum now, so I'll talk to you about it. Because with Mount Gay Rums, it's got the master distiller's name, which is Trudy Branca. Because she's the, she is a woman, and she's now the head master distiller for Mount Gay Rum and she's made some incredible rums as well as I say so kudos as she is the first woman master distiller for the brand as well so absolutely a wonderful it is. I say what makes Mount Gay unique is the location of Barbados itself. I say Barbados is actually the product of accumulated and uplifted coral limestone which is where the water is from that's why the British went there and that's where you made and that is where the focus was on the sugarcane and rum production back in the 17th century. It's because it's a very unique place, Barbados, to make rum. And the producers of the Mount Gay rum absolutely use the location of Barbados to full effect, especially with the coral limestone. So what this means, it means that there's a lot of underground water, which is where they've got the what, which is so it means they've got a lot of underground water from the coral limestone. So they use this to a full effect, this is where they get the water into the distilleries to produce the rum and they also use the sugar and the molasses for a UK audience that is black treacle, what you use to, what you use to make black treacle, molasses, it's very sweet. So this, uh, the distillery itself is home to a 300 plus foot well which is where they get the water from. The water drawn from this well is still used for the distillery and dilution to this day. Because so with the sugarcane refineries, there's only one on Barbados, so they do have to import around from the Caribbean. But, uh, but it's only imports varieties that are native to Barbados, so that's a very crucial to the a brand. It's very, very Barbados. Because uh, so it makes it very unique. It's very unique to Barbados. So for over 300 years, Mount Gay has been crafting flavourful and rich rums on the northern tip of Barbados. That's where it is. As you can see on the bag, it's got a star. That's where it's located. But uh, I'll just show you the bag. But say where the star is, is where it's located north of the island. But say, so to make the Mount Gay Silver Rum, they use a blend of unaged rums distilled in traditional copper pot and column stills. With its balanced and versatile taste, it is best enjoyed with in mixers or in cocktails. So I will we'll have a little taste test. 
by itself, see if it's sippable. But if not, I am going to do another video on this, because I'm going to make a Barbados rum punch on this, as this would be absolutely fantastic to use with it. So with the silver rum, it's 43% or 86 proof like that for the international audience, um, maybe used to the proof instead of 43% that we use. But so, so this is one litre, it's nicely crafted, it's nicely labelled, it's fantastic. I'd give it a 9 out of 10, I'm just loving it so far, I just love everything about it. But the most important thing is how does it taste, I can't wait to taste it as well. Never had a Mount Gay rum before, so this will be a first time for it. So a nice presentation, it's nice design, and now the taste. I can't do a prize because it's a gift from a friend this for me. Well, like I said, if you want to find this, good luck to you. Like I said, it's not the easiest to find at all. But like I said, it's a shame to open it. But, so, but if you do know the national drink of Barbados, do let me know as well. What do they drink in Barbados? What is the national drink? That's what I want to absolutely know. So go and make a Barbados rum punch, but I know it's not the national drink for Barbados. So how does it taste? Mount Gay rum. Over 300 years of history in this. Like a very strong rum, it's very, very strong like that. It's got it's not something I drink now, it's gonna say it can be tough now, but I can see why you why they say take away cocktail or mixes like that. Because it's certainly not smooth, it's strong, you can feel it in the back of your throat, it's just got a strong taste to it. We'll say, but you can taste it as well, you can taste there's a little bit of sweetness of the sugar cane with the molasses in it as well. But it's not something I drink straight anyway, like that. So it's certainly not smooth. But, yeah, but that's not a criticism of it at all. It's an absolutely beautiful rum. That's like, very nice. It's very strong. And it's still making an excellent, excellent cocktail. I'd certainly make excellent cocktails with this quality of rum. Absolutely beautiful. But I can see why they call it the starter level for the rums for Mountain Gate. I think for the taste, just going off for going off it neat, I'd go for a seven out of ten. Because it's not a criticism of it or it's still good, it's still tasty, but it's not smooth at all. It's not something you could drink neat. Or if you are. But, so, but the one thing I do know compared to the Eclipse, I never had the Eclipse, but I do know it has like a vanilla tasting rum to it, like that it has vanilla tasting notes. Because so, that's just something I've read and heard about the Eclipse. But with this is certainly beautiful. I'd recommend it. It's a very unique. It's a nice present. It's a nice a gift if you are a rum lover. And if you are rum, I'd say get this as it's very hard to find. It's not something you can find in the supermarkets. It's very hard to find on the internet apart from actually going to Mount Gay Distillery in Barbados itself. It's very hard to find. And in, even in the good old USA, it's getting hard to find as well. But this is a nice collection. It's a nice collector's item as well. And I recommend stocking up on it because it's absolutely beautiful. But if you've ever had Mount Gay rum, do let me know. What do you think of it? What's your favourite Mount Gay rum? As I can't wait to hear back from your opinions. And like I said, do let me know what is the national drink of Barbados. As I will look to recreate. So I will look to make that as well, along with the Barbados rum punch, which will be my next cocktail video. So for packaging, nine. Design, nine. Taste, seven. So that gives it a score of 25 out of 30, so that is 8 out of 10. And that is a fantastic score, and I can't rate this highly enough. Like I said, I can't do the cost because I've not bought it for myself like that. But like I said, it's, uh, we'll say if you go on Master Mall, it's just over 30 quid, but it's the 70, 700 mil or 70 CL, not the 1 litre, which would be probably approaching the 40 quid mark. But that has been my review of the Mount Gate Silver Rum. Do you agree with my ratings? What do you guys think? What is your favourite Mount Gate Rum? Do let me know in the comments below. 
I've been Mixed, and don't forget to like and subscribe as it really does help the channel grow. And I will see you guys for my Barbados rum punch in my next cocktail video. Cheers.